Hey there, it's time for another Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh from SR Prot has brought us an array of flavors. Topo Chico, Abita, Rogue, and more. You get it all right here on the Morning Hog on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog, Morning Hog Show. It's Morning Hog Happy Hour. We've been waiting for it all morning long, Steve, because Josh from SR Prot is right over there bringing us the goods. You've got a lot of goods today, bro. I do. Yeah, thank you. For yeah, bringing here. Oh, yeah, that, that actually is probably even more important because uh, I see, well, a weird collection of, like, beers and non-beers. Yeah, it's a little odd today, but okay. uh, in the best way possible. Okay, okay. well, hmm. Steve and I do not mind odd. Just ask Steve. Not at all. Oh, there you go. See, just just look at me. I knew he'd back yeah, that up. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what are we getting into today, buddy? All right, so we're going to start off with uh, our friends over there at Rogue. Okay. All the way in Oregon. All right. Um, the beer that's been around, I think, since, like, 2018. Okay. Uh, the can is super badass. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I have a t-shirt that I would like Their wear. cans are always awesome. Oh this one's God. particularly cool because it's kind of like that neon flare behind yeah. it a little bit. Um, yeah. This beer is Combat Wombat. Oh, this beer Ooh. is so good. That can looks like their Bat Squatch one. Right. So they've kind of, uh, Rogue has <laughs> like <a spin-off. laughs> compiled their graphics a little bit, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Where they're very brand aware now and uh, okay. kind of run across the same theme. Um, yeah. But the Combat oh. Wombat. So, this beer is a hazy IPA, mm. but it's not just a hazy IPA. Right. Mm. It's a sour hazy IPA. Check it out, man. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm actually going to read what the can description says, because typically you get what just like hazy IPA, right? Taste that haze. So, on the can itself, it actually says sour, northeast style, hazy Indian pale ale brewed with Australian hops, blood orange, and grapefruit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that is a taste bud party. Wow. Right there. You know, broke out. now, those are flavors... As far as a sour and a hazy IPA that you wouldn't typically put together, you don't really get a lot of the hops from the IPA at all. The it's sour in the back. O- overrides it a lot. The sour is right up front, mm-hmm. but on the exhale, you're getting the IPA. You get a little tat yeah. bitterness. Right. Um, so it, it's it's still clearly an IPA uh, with some sourness in the front. Oh, I um, like this. <laughs> but you're also getting those fruit flavors. Oh yeah, you're getting the hop sweet. flavors. Uh, like I said, six point seven percent alcohol. So oh, okay. you know, not too bad. Uh, okay. 16 ounce cans. Mm. Oh, oh, that's helpful. So it comes in a four pack 16 ounce can. All right. Man, that's good. This is super, super limited. Really? We only got about 10 to 15 cases. Ooh. Um, Ooh. So very short window, very short run, but I wanted uh, to bring it on today because it's such a cool beer. Uh, I felt like we had to talk about it. Yeah. No, that's a good thing. I mean, it, this seems like a good time to run to srprod.com slash beer finder and uh, find out where you can get these exactly. probably. But again, you well, can get them fast. I mean, long. if you want, dude, you can just give us one of those cases and be fine with me. We could distribute it. Oh, would that it. be okay? Yeah, you should distribute it. Just give mouth. one to us. Steve's house. It's no no big house. deal, bro. Uh, we could put some in the break room. Think about it. Hey, yeah. Uh, the, but that's a great, uh, what a great little treat, a beer treat. Well, so it's funny you mentioned little treat, right? Yeah. Because if you look at the can and the name, right, it's just Combat Wombat. Mm-hmm. So literally on the can is a, uh, it's a wombat. Right. A cartoon wombat dressed up in like. What he's getting army gear. Yeah, he's like, getting. He's in. He's in the combat. Yeah. Combat yeah. gear. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Combat yeah. gear. Right. <laughs> right. But fight mode. So the artist for the can was actually just given the the beer name in the description, and they were like, "Draw something." Really? <laughs> like, yeah. Really? Oh, I like that. So he went with that, and it's because it's a small beer with big flavor. Oh, right? it's exceptionally big it's flavor. Cool. Great and description. It, and it is changed. I feel like the uh, the sour, the tart. There, it sort of dissipates after a couple. There seconds. you go. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, you say that the, the sour up front kind of overwhelms it a little bit. Yeah. As you get through that can, that sour is not going to be as pungent because your your palate's getting used to it. Then yeah. you're going to get into that IPA. And that yeah, it's science right there, stuff man. Stuff like that. So, uh, freaking, very cool beer. Freaking beer science. It's beer awesome, science. man. Right? You got some get with Weird Al. Think about that. You could put that down as like a t-shirt or something. Maybe a hat, line of hats. So SR beer brought. science. Freaking beer science is awesome. Did you just flip me inter- off? You no. did. <laughs> no, was, Son of a... I was pointing at the camera. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Pointing at the camera. Yeah, he would never First, do that. one can in, and you're already... All never right. mind. Well, let's go to the can two and see what finger <sighs> comes out. <laughs> so we're going to move over to our friends over there at Topo Chico. <laughs> All right. Or Topo Chico is Topo what Chico. some people say. Topo, yeah. Topo. I, don't know I would say... I would say... Uh, oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I would, like say oh, it like would a, you? Uh-huh. I say it like a cartoon character would say it. Topo Chico. I don't know if that's appropriate. Man, I, would, many I, would, words I, would, over I would say topo. Yeah? I would say topo. topo. We'll, topo. Go, we'll, we'll go long O. Go toe. You know what? I opened this one, but I don't want to start with this one. Oh. Well, um, son of a... <laughs> False start. 
it, it just flag because, it play, dude. Flag because it's such an interesting flavor, right. I feel like we need to finish on it. All okay, right. well. So go. let's go with ripe watermelon. All right, let's do it. So these are Tapu Chico. We've done their hard seltzers. We've done their ranch waters. Okay. So this is their agua fre frescas. Okay. You know okay. what those are? Uh, Water and fruit? Uh, essentially. Aqua? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, fresca? So okay. adult, adult, these are alcoholic beverages based on an agua fresca, which is... Uh, Fruit, water, and some sugar and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, a little mix. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. this one is called Ripe Watermelon. Right. I'm glad it's ripe. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm very excited to try this. I love watermelon I mean, sometimes drinks. We, we talked about variety of watermelon flavors. Some are just like straight up, like oh. uh, bubblegum flavor. Some taste like the rind. We've got some rind ones for yeah. sure. And this you one I'm going to smell get, the I can watermelon. Smell it as soon as I open it. Yes. That's the guts. That's getting all up in the guts. So of these are only four percent right alcohol, right? So I mean, these are something. These are this Ooh. is a twelve pack variety, four flavors, three um, beer oh, path, right? Okay, all right. Um, but four percent, yeah, probably worth through that whole twelve pack in a day. Probably oh, in oh. a day, Jeez. half a day. Oh, whoa! Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's great. I feel like I want to put watermelon seeds in this just to add to the authenticity <laughs> of the watermelon flavor. It's much more <laughs> sweet than I was anticipating. I was yeah. expecting more of that hint of flavor. Yeah. These are uh, full flavored for sure. <laughs> However, there are only 100 calories, if I'm not mistaken. So, oh. um, you know, the sugar content on it is four grams. Nothing. That's it? It's worth it. Man. I mean, it, that is not much sugar. No, that's what I'm saying. Um, but the amount of flavor you're getting. Yeah. My body just sent me a thank you text for saving it from <laughs> really? the sugar in the fat. Yeah. yeah, son of a gun. You're welcome, body. I didn't hear that. This is great though, and and it does have. I mean, full flavor. I I like the full flavor. Same. I prefer ditto. It. But you're right. If you ripe means you're getting all of that watermelon flavor, and not so much maybe a tart rind thing. This is just sweet, sweet watermelon goodness. You get a little bit of lime on the back end there too. Oh, hold up. Mm -hmm. Steve, bad. Like a hint of lime. It's yep. there on the back. It's whispering. It's afterwards. Oh, Excel, like there that. is. That's like ASMR <laughs> stuff. And That's really not super not into that. <laughs> <laughs> not by the way, by the way, if you were here for the AS, <laughs> I don't even want to get into that. But we'll, Steve will have a series out soon where he talks to beverages in hushed tones. Oh yeah. God, it's coming up. It's called the Drink Whisperer. The drink yeah. Whisperer. yeah. All, right. All right, one more topo. What's on this the flavor? Side? Yeah, and then okay. we'll take a break. So All we'll right. we'll do pra passion fruit mango. Oh, mm. okay. All right. Well, I mean, we know what the passion fruit is. Never had a passion fruit. It's the fruit of love, bro. I think we've talked about that yeah. a few times. I don't yeah. believe I've ever yeah. actually had a passion. This was the yeah. fruit that was hanging over Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. We, oh, we no, that was an story. apple. Was I'm, an I'm pretty sure it was an apple, passion bro. Fruit. That's why and the story on. was an apple, but Obviously. they say it was a pomegranate. Yeah, it, 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 pomegranate. I think you guys are all wrong. They have seeds and they taste good. <laughs> all fruits have seeds. Well, they taste really. Did you? I don't think that's Yeah, that's what makes all. it a fruit. I uh, don't believe him. Vegetables Please. have seeds. Don't even. No, they don't. Okay. Oh, boy. What about a cuke? <laughs> that's a fruit. No, nah, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. All right. So this, <laughs> but this smells great. Does it taste great, though? Let's do it. It does. As it turns out, the full flavor again. It's nice. Oh, too. wow. I love it. It's, yes. These are four grams of sugar? Right. Four, and 100 calories? It's like, I, it's honestly. So you could crush that 12 pack and not yeah. feel guilty about it. This yes. feels like an ice cream yes. treat. <laughs> you know? All right, all right. Like, I want to freeze this thing and Ooh, then lick it. slushies? Well, I'm just thinking about it, yeah. All mm. right. Dig it. Mm. Topo Chico Frizo. Right? Maybe when we take our break, Ooh. I'll throw a few in the freezer for later. Oh, thank you. It's a good idea. That's like a good idea. Yeah. Uh, these are easy to find, though, these Topo Chicos, right? Yeah. The, so these are a, a summer variety pack. Okay. So they're still around for a little bit longer. Okay. Um, so not super duper rare or anything like that. But definitely, if you see it on the shelf, grab it, give it a shot. Or yeah. you can check out the website to find it. Oh, he means uh, srprod.com slash beer finder. That's where you can find those or these. Uh, stick around. More coming up. Morning Hog Brew Review. But that's our prod. 95.7 The Hog. Yeah. 95.7 The Hog. It's the Morning Hog Show. Riggs, Steve, and Josh from SR Parade bringing us delightful Friday flavors. And I'm telling you, man, this is a weird day. Not because it's Friday, it's a weekend. And we're looking for new things to try. But so far, each beverage has been better than the last. It's, it's all delicious. You're kind of doing this thing. Yeah. Right? It's just like steps <laughs> right to on. infinity. I'll take that. But I, we only have three drinks left. Uh, so we had uh, a rogue beer. Yep. Then we've got some Topo Combat Chico's. Topo Chico's we're, we're Aqua Frescas. We're in the midst of the Aqua Frescas sampler, right? Correct. Okay, let's do it. Let's yeah, so more. we had two on the front end. We'll have two now. Uh, so this one is Hibiscus Lime. 
Okay. Mm. All right. Yummy. Really? You big, Hibiscus uh, is one of those uh, things that people love to put in alcoholic beverages. Yeah. They do. They just jam it in there. Yep. Float it on top or whatever. Ooh. And I never really know what flavor I'm getting with hibiscus. I don't know. Is it uh, fruity? Is it floral? Is it both? Did I lick a dryer Ooh. sheet? I think you're getting a little okay. bit of both. Mm. Mm. A little, little floral. Yeah. A little fruity. Like Steve. It really does uh, kind of have and, both. Yeah, it does. And yeah. some lime in there. Like well, what? Steve what? brings in a lot of candles into the studio, and this does have that same sort of subtle aroma of mm. the... Uh, I smell like brown sugar when I came in here. Oh, that, yeah. Is that yeah. what this Well, is? no, he was, he was no. making churros. It was smoked pumpkin. Yeah. Close enough. And yeah. hickory. Yeah. And he makes churros on Fridays. Mm-hmm. That too. That, oh, is it the churros? Mm. Mostly. He probably, probably shouldn't operate a fryer inside the station. No, you're totally right. And uh, we've said it. It's like the whole ceiling. We didn't want to know what happened. To <laughs> I mean, it, that's why it's black. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't before. Apparently, no. that ventilation thing is not the code. Uh, yeah. But we're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, don't, this, we, don't, we don't tell But them. it doesn't compromise the taste of this, which is good. No. I like that. Good. I like a hibiscus. Mm. That one might be my favorite so far. Well, again, we're yeah. stepping it up. Like each one is kind of out dueling the other. However, I think this might Uh-oh. might take the top. Oh, what's so it, what's this it? is oh. the one the one I opened Ooh. first, and then uh, changed my mind. Okay, so this is citrus tamarind. Oh, oh, oh. Citrus, citrus who tamarind? tamarind okay. Which I don't that I can think of. Maybe in Modelo's uh, Chilada. Chilada, yes. But other than that, I don't think I've had it in any other alcohol. Beverage. I'm irrationally excited about this. Oh. <laughs> Based on these other flavors, if right. this tamarind is kicking, I'm a I'm gonna just jump on that can in a second. But that tamarind's like a really tangy flavor. Yes, right. It's that uh, spice that you would throw in, you know, whatever a dish, or in my case, all dishes. You know. Okay, you can you can smell. There's a little bit of something mixing oh, in there. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it's not a pepper. But it's whoa! Oh, yeah, that's different. That cuts, but I like a, it. that cuts the sweet a little bit, doesn't it? It does. It cuts the sweetness down a little bit. Mm. Wow, yeah. But it's so unique, dear that, uh, Tamarind. Keep going that's back. interesting. Thank yeah. you, and not thank you. I mean, I mean for that being, for real for being you. That's so very good. interesting. That's so good, bro. Mm. Wow, really? Yeah. What is Topo Chico doing? Science, apparently. They, again, they didn't Ooh. need to. They have a, I mean, plenty of products out there. Delicious flavors, hundred calories, four percent alcohol. Yeah. What, four grams of sugar, I said? Quite oh, frankly, Josh, I had kind of given up on having a bikini body for the season. I I was like, eh, it's, it's a lot. too late and everything. But now I'm thinking I might. Mm. This Topo Chico trend, maybe I'm on it now. Maybe you're back on it? Maybe I go six days Topo Chico, one day, you know, bread and water. Okay. Yeah. So, you, are you soaking the bread in the water? Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, like yeah. a, Don't like a do hot that. dog competition. Like a hot dog competition. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, I just guys. want Steve to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like wet buns. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, oh. There's one left, but it's a beer. It is a it's, beer. And I don't even know what that is. I think this is the beer uh, for today. For really? Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is a beer. It's a rideshare. Okay. And at first, I'm like, why would you name your beer rideshare? That's awfully. Rideshare. Like, like an Uber. Like, like an a, Uber yeah. or a Lyft or something like okay. that. All right. And then I saw the ABV on it. It's 10%. Oh! <laughs> so... It's a great name because after, you know, a couple of these, you're going to have to call it Uber. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. This is a triple IPA. <laughs> so, how many, right how up, many triples have we ever done on the show? Maybe oh. one or two. Yeah. Um, like, that's one of those things in, the, in our world. It's, it's pretty few and far between. I mean, um, we get put three behind. I'm almost scared. How many fingers you see? Because <laughs> probably, <laughs> if you're seeing, but how, many, is, boy, how many fingers super, am I holding up? Pretty Ooh. Okay. That smells. I'm getting fruity. There's no way you'd be able to tell us. No, that, that's why you would have to call an Uber because after your third or fourth oh, one. Oh my god! Well, uh, once, you're, you, once you realize well, your, that's D, your, your D is buried in the dirt, you're gonna be like, your driver, your driver, your driver, driver? Your driver stuck in the mud. No, oh. come on, guys, use that's, your head. Okay, that's really good. That's <laughs> very good, and you're right. That is not a ten percent. Uh, there punch. is at least to me. There is no afterburn. Okay. So at ten percent, that's impressive. Number nothing, one, nothing. Yeah. But it actually has a lot of flavor. Yes. Um. You know, sometimes that that burn or that high ABV will kind of take some of those flavors out a little bit and wreck your palate. Yeah. That's not doing that. So no. you are getting a no. very nicely balanced. No. Yeah. Ten percent triple IPA. Yes. Uh, in some ways, I feel like you know I've learned in the years of the Morning Hog Brew Review 
to properly fear a beer with a high ABV. But in this case, I am not scared of that beer at all. No. I want to invite many of them into my room. That's a really nice citrus. Beer. Shut the yeah, kids out. Say, it's kids, very, kids go away. Very, very citrusy. And not just enjoy them. Not hoppy. Not alcohol burn. Does like it say said. what else is dancing in there? It's just it the steers you towards room. big hop flavors, it's tropical and citrus fruit. So look at that. Damn. Without even reading it. Wow. Wow. Well, without even reading it, a beta nail. Okay, yeah. so Abita, and again, Abita's always kind of going off the path a little bit, yep. trying to uh, doing some cool stuff, innovate. I'm guessing this is a limited thing. You are correct. Uh, this is a this isn't even a seasonal beer. This is a limited beer. I'm gonna get the um, sprinter so, stance. So exactly. Get it. Where where can we get this, Josh? Definitely Total Wine, some yep. local independents. Yep. Uh, check out maybe an ABC or two, but definitely <laughs> check out the website. srparat.com slash beer finder. That's yep. what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. Did you just rip your? Yeah, I think so. In the taint, it's right in the blew out the back. <laughs> I can't even see it if I keep my legs together. Uh, wow, that's a really very interesting palette of flavors you brought us today. Yeah, I wanted to do some cool and some new stuff, yeah. and uh, so here we are. Yeah, and again, you want to uh, see what a tamarind looks like? I know what they look like. <laughs> look, I'm, I, know, I know what they look like. It's like a large <laughs> peanut. Why with are a weird you thing googling inside. random uh, words uh, from uh, the brew reviews? A Steve? peanut. <laughs> I wouldn't oh, call peanut. that a peanut. <laughs> ah, well, hey, you should Google online. Yeah, I don't know what what country you're Googling that from. Mm, Did you do Google either. Translate on that? No, All don't right. Google that one. Absolutely not. All right, well, while Steve is Googling, I'm going to go out and get these beers at uh, srprout.com slash beer finder. Josh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, wait, come back. Oh, come back.